Hancock, can you tell us what happened here this morning? Well, approximately 8.45, a person approached our drive-in teller, Sandy Brown, and threatened her with a bomb and uh, was wearing a Halloween mask. And, of course, our teller had to adhere to his request and did release the funds to him. Uh, we don't know the loss at the present time. However, uh, it is being uh, compiled at the present time. We'll know the figure sometime today. Uh, the person that approached her was driving a green Chevrolet and did wear a Halloween mask and uh, uh, had a bomb in the car with him. Uh, he was wearing gloves, and uh, our teller did have to uh, follow his instructions, which we uh, uh, always try to avoid, but this is one of those things that... Uh, uh, happening seem to be quite prominent now in the Dallas area, in Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, the police are, of course, handling the situation along with the FBI, and uh, this is uh, in their hands at the present time. All the funds are, of course, fully insured, and uh, are, uh, should, when we have the final figure, well, we'll uh, notify our insurance agents for full recovery of any losses. Mr. Tarvin, what programs have been carried forth so far in the Fort Worth Public Schools to prevent dropouts from high school? Back in 1963, we began making an intensive study of this through the assistant uh, superintendent for junior high schools, who is our present superintendent, Julius Trulson. At that time, we set up two what we call dropout classes, in which we had a team teaching effort to keep these youngsters in school, and it was quite successful. We have a plan tentatively designed by our instructional staff under Mr. James Bailey in which we will have widespread changes in organization of the school, in teaching techniques, in teacher training, development of curriculum, and this type of thing. For example, we plan to have a third of the time in school spent in the regular physical education classes and an elective course that is the child's own selection for his interest. Now, the other two-thirds time will be one large block of time, approximately four hours in length, in which we will develop individual programs for each of these children centered around his interest. And it will be a team of academic teachers, of vocational teachers, and the counselor will be involved. We free you from the bonds of your former diocese of San Angelo and transfer you to the Episcopal See of Dallas, conferring on you all its government and administration. We exempt you from the, from the repetition of the profession of faith and the oath of allegiance, notwithstanding any prescription to the contrary. On this occasion, we exhort clergy and people not only to welcome you most heartily as their father and shepherd, but also to obey your orders and follow your initiatives that you find necessary to make for the well-being of the Church of Dallas.
Well, now suppose you get this $500,000 or any other federal grant. What would you do then? 